Hello guys, today we are going to solve this integration problem. First, the integrand is in the form ln of alpha over beta, which is ln alpha minus ln beta. So i equals to integral from a to b ln of the numerator minus ln of the denominator. Then we have here ln of one plus x over a all to the power x power minus one exponential power b over x. We know that ln of x power alpha equals to alpha ln x. So we can put this power in front of ln. So i equals to integral from a to b, the power x power minus one multiplied by exponential power b over x, all multiplied by ln of one plus x over a dx minus, similarly for the second term, we can put this power here, all multiplied by ln of 1 plus b over x dx. Now we can write x power minus 1 as 1 over x. So this term can be written as exponential power b over x all over x. Similarly, here we have e power x over a all over x. Denote by i1 this integral and i2 this integral. So i becomes i1 minus i2. Let's now work on the integral i1. So i1 equals to integral from a to b exponential power b over x all over x multiplied by ln of 1 plus x over a dx. Let's change the variable of the integration. We will take y equals to a b over x. And so x y equals to a b, then we will get x equals to a b over y. Then dx will be derivative of this term multiplied by dy, which is minus one over y squared multiplied by a b dy. Then dx equals to minus a b over y squared dy. Now for the bounds, if x equals to a, then y equals to a b over a, which is b. And for x equals to b, y equals to a b over b, which is a. Then the new bounds are not from a to b, but from b to a. Here we have e power b over x. So e power b all over, instead of x, we will write a b over y. Similarly here, instead of x, we have a b over y. And inside the len, x over a is a b over y all over a. And dx equals to minus a b over y squared dy. Now let's simplify. First, we can cancel out the negative sign and change the bound of the integration. Instead of from b to a, we will have from a to b. Now we can cancel out b and b. So we will have one all over a over y, which is y over a. Similarly here, we have one all over a b over y, and it is y over a b. Similarly here, we have a and a, so we will get b over y. And then we have a b over y squared dy. Now we can cancel out a b and a b. Here we can cancel out y from y squared to get one over y. So i1 will be integral from a to b, one over y, exponential power y over a, all multiplied by ln of one plus b over y dy. So i1 equals to exponential power y over a, all over y multiplied by ln one plus b over y and the integral is from a to b all dy. Now, instead of y, we can put x because it's a definite integral and no matter what is the letter. So i will be, i1 will be exponential power x over a all over x multiplied by ln of one plus b over x dx and the integral is from a to b. Remark that this is i2. So we have i1 will be equals to i2. So this is i1 equals to i2. But i equals to i1 minus i2. Therefore, i equals to i1 minus i1, which is 0. Therefore, the following integral is equal to 0. Thank you for your watching.